Here are the guidelines if you're having Thanksgiving in California. Thankfully, I will be out of this state for Thanksgiving. I would have ignored the rules even if I were here. All gatherings must include no more than three households, including hosts and guests. So, you know, you've got uh, three aunts and their families who could come over. No, I'm sorry. You got to pick two. <laughs> Old Aunt Beth doesn't get to come to Thanksgiving this year. She is the least favorite aunt. You can only pick two that they can come over, but the, the other one, no. Because if you invite two people over, you won't get coronavirus. But if you invite a third person over, you will get coronavirus. I guess that's just science. Uh, they, they cannot last for more than two hours. Again, if you have a two hour Thanksgiving dinner, you're, you're okay. But a two and a half hour Thanksgiving dinner, you will get coronavirus. That is, I guess, science. Uh, gatherings that occur outdoors are safer than indoor gatherings. So all gatherings must be outside. I guess like the first Thanksgiving, that's really going back in history. You're not allowed to go indoors because if you go indoors, you will get coronavirus. By the way, I, I have been ignoring all, all of these stupid rules from the very beginning, the masks and the social distancing and the indoors and the outdoors. And I've been ignoring all of it. And guess what? I'm having a great time. My life is totally fine. My friends' lives are totally fine. My family's lives, totally fine. You can do it. You can do it. It's okay. You don't need to listen to these idiotic politicians. Those who are at the Thanksgiving gathering, quote, may remove their face coverings briefly to eat or drink as long as they stay six feet away from everyone outside their own household. And then they have to put the face covering back on the minute they're done with the activity. You get one little spoonful of cranberry sauce in there, but you better put that mask on. I don't care if it smears the sauce. You got to do it. Otherwise, otherwise you will get coronavirus. Face coverings can be re removed to meet urgent medical needs, such as uh, taking an asthma inhaler if you get an attack. So you are allowed, <laughs> you're allowed to take the mask off if you are dying. You can take it off to get life-saving medicine, but otherwise you better put it on. No singing, no chanting, no shouting, no physical exertion of any kind is permitted. If you do have to sing at the table, you've got to do it very quietly in a speaking voice behind a mask. And then you have to go home within two hours. Uh, and obviously, none of that is based on science. Science itself has very little to say about any of those questions because those are ethical and philosophical and political questions. And uh, all of them are not only uh, medically pointless, but, but politically, horrifically perverse and corrosive. So you should ignore all of that. I intend on going to a Thanksgiving dinner and hugging and kissing everybody and sharing plates and maybe even sharing drinks with people and singing very loudly and never, ever, ever even considering wearing my mask. And I encourage all of you to do the same because this is all very stupid and these politicians are not going to let off even one little bit on this grip of power that they've stolen from us pointlessly, uh, unconstitutionally, uh, unless we take it from them. So just take it, just ignore them. No reason to pay any attention to them. I hope you enjoyed that short segment from The Michael Knowles Show. Be sure to check out the full episode linked in the description or download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts.